Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our Lord is good. All the time. And all the time. Let us bow our head to pray to all this God, this awesome God that is good for me and you all the time. Let's bow our head in prayer as we pray. Almighty and ever living God, the holy, worthy, dependable, and trusted God, Father, beside you, there is no other God. Lord Almighty, the great I am that I am, the one that created the whole wide world and everything that's in it with the ways of his mouth. Lord, we bow down before your majesty. Lord, to thank you, to worship you. Lord, all of us in this mountain acknowledge that it is by your mercy and grace that we all are alive today. That we are where we are today is by your grace and mercy. We as well acknowledge that we are not stronger. We are not more righteous than those that are not alive today. But it pleases you, O Lord Jesus, Father Lord, to keep us alive. For us to continually carry your banner. Lord, this is only by your mercy and grace. Lord, we thank you, my Lord, my Father, for gathering us from every walks of life and to bring us, my Lord, my Father, into your cave. Lord, we all know that cave is not a place of pleasure. It is painful, but it is gainful to our soul. We thank you for all that you have been doing, my Lord, my Father, in us and with us. Your purpose is that no soul in this mountain will go to hell. Lord, we appreciate you. Lord, we thank you. Thank you for every chastisement that comes from you. Thank you, my Lord, my Father, for all your admonishments. All the reproof, Lord Jesus. Lord, our prayer, that on the last day, Father, Lord, it will not stand against us. It will not be in vain in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Most holy Father, King of all glory, Daddy, you are the Lord that knows the end from the beginning. Whatsoever you say you will do, that is what you do. And everything that you start, Father Lord, you bring it to accomplishment. You are not a man. Nothing can limit you. Father, we thank you, my Lord, my Father. Like your daughter said, my Lord, my Father, in that prayer, seven days is not seven minutes. Many people may set out to do something seven days. But after the first or second or third day, something might happen. But you, my Lord, my Father, that set aside these seven days to gather us, to purge us, to cleanse us, to purify us, to prune us. Father Lord, today is the start seven day. Lord, we thank you. Thank you for the grace to start with you. Thank you for your presence in our midst. Father Lord, to bring today, my Lord, my Father, to, to end. We know someday coming, you might ask us to do it again. Father Lord, King of all glory. That is the way you started with us from the beginning. Today is seven day, the Holy Communion of the seven day. Father, we have gathered, not because we fasted. That is why we have come to die with the no. By your mercy drafted us, my Lord, my Father. Daddy Lord, as your ambassadors. Father Lord, as your mouthpiece. As people that you have set aside. Father Lord, for us to continually, my Lord, my Father, to carry out this ordinance. In remembrance of what you did for each and every one of us on the cross of Calvary. That secured our salvation. Father Lord, as we have come to observe this Lord Jesus. Of our prayer that each time we had the opportunity to gather like this. May we not do it in error in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And it's the reason why, oh Lord Jesus, we unanimously with one mind, Father, acknowledge the presence of your Holy Spirit, whom you left with us to be our teacher, our comforter, our helper. We therefore ask him to come and incubate each and every one of us, even as we have gathered in your awesome presence. Let him come and take absolute control. Let him come and take the lead. Let him come and do what he alone can do. That at the end, only your name and name alone shall be glorified and magnified in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Father, Lord Jesus. Father, Lord. Every power that is out of you, Lord Jesus. Whatever name they give themselves. Territorial demon. Mind controlling demon. Father, Lord, they are not permitted to be in our midst. By your authority, O Lord Jesus. We banish and we expel them out of our midst. This hour in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Almighty King of all glory. 
that the Lord am only a clay in your hands, who knows nothing, who depends solely on you, my Lord and my Father, that the Lord, as he pleases you, my Lord, my Father, to use me as a vessel unto honor in your own hand alone. Father, Lord, come and speak to me and speak through me, Lord Jesus. Father, King of all glory, as I open my mouth, Lord Jesus, put your ways in my mouth and let the word that proceeds out of my mouth, Lord Jesus. Father, Lord, let it not be a mere word, but let it be a word that you accompany with your, word, with your power, with your anointing, with your fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Glorious and precious name, we all are pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Children of the Most High God, um, again, we have the privilege and opportunity uh, to be in the presence of Most High God, who has made it possible uh, for me and you uh, to start these seven days waiting unto Him. Thank God we did not. Uh, uh, embark on hunger strike uh, our prayer is that as we sincerely look unto our father in the seven days and beyond his mercy we prepare him to do that which you have desired to do in your life and in my life those things that when the testimony comes those that, that those that are making the mockery of God that we serve they will have no option than to run to him to say yes of a truth God dwells there and so shall it be in your life and in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, Amen. So, people of God, as we have gathered this hour uh, for this uh, communion service, being something uh, very unique, uh, something very divine that God Almighty has called me and you, which we all agree that none of us is qualified for this, if not because of the presence of, the God of God in our midst that bring his mercy and grace upon you, upon me. So, each time we gather, we truly want to tell ourselves the truth. The Bible says, ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. We tell ourselves the truth. And in telling that truth, we'll be able to know how helpless and ho hopeless we are, if not because of what the mercy and grace of God have done in your life, in my life. And we always do that. Through what? Through only one source. Through what? The word of God. Because the word of God is God himself. So in this short word of uh, exhortation for the communion service uh, that is captioned uh, the what? The everlasting potency in the blood of Jesus Christ. The what? The everlasting potency in the blood of Jesus Christ. The blood that me and you have come to drink. Is what it has an everlasting potency, everlasting efficacy, everlasting value. A blood that has no expiration date. A blood that was shed over two thousand years ago, yet it is still very, very efficacious till date. The blood that stood in the gap for me and you. The blood that disappointed that expectation of Satan, thinking that he has finished about us. Every one of us who are coming to his kingdom. But when that blood showed up, he was what? He was totally disappointed. The blood that stood as an atonement. The blood that stood out as a sacrificial lamb. The Bible said in the book of 1 John, which is going to be a foundational text, uh, short Test first John chapter 1, uh, verse 2, 1 to 6. First John 1, first John chapter 2, 1 to 6. He said, My little children, thank God, no matter how old we are, we are all little children before God Almighty. My little children, these things I write unto you that ye sin not, and if any man sin. We have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. Verse 2. And he is what? The propitiation for our sins. And not for <coughs> us only, but also for the sins of the whole world. Not for me and you, but for the whole world. Have you not seen the way humanity by themselves? run away from the tree of life. A gift that was given 
an eternal gift that humanity, out of ignorance or out of any reason known to them, that they ignore. Save what? Not for me and you alone, but for us, for the whole world. Three, and hereby we do know that we know him. If we keep his commandments, that shows that what we are Christ like when we keep his commandments. Four, he that said, I know him, and keepeth not his commandment is what a liar, and the truth is not in him. Five, but whoso keepeth his word in him, verily is the love of God perfected. Hereby know we that we are in him. Six, our last day because of time. He that said he abided in him ought himself also to walk, even as he walked. In other ways, since we all know that we did not tender any application for to qualify us to come and recline at his table this hour, only his mercy accomplished it. So it is expectation of our Father that as we eat him, he is now in us and we are now in him. He expected us to walk like him, talk like him, and behave like him. And that is what we always need to ask God to give us the grace so that we will not be a disappointment to him on that last day in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So people of God, having said this, that what we have come to do is what to celebrate uh, the, that everlasting potency in the blood of Jesus Christ. Study have uh, made me and you to know that the blood that flows in you, that flows in me, that flows in every human being, no matter how highly placed, no matter how you take care of yourself, the blood that flows in our life has a limited lifespan, no matter what, no matter your color. It has what? A limited lifespan. No matter how, even if, if you go to the, uh, uh, to the biggest hospital today, College Queen's Hospital, um, uh, University Hospital, whatever name, no matter how that blood is being preserved in that blood bank, people of God, it can never last more than 120 days. And after that, it has to be replaced. That's why they continually ask people to come and donate blood. It must continually be replaced. But the blood that me and you have had the grace. Look at how loved and uh, 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 oh, may Satan never take this away from us. We know that we we, are, we go uh, we go through issues in life, but in the midst of that issue, if we can remember that God so really loves us, that John that John three sixteen, it's not a child's play. God so loved the world, He so much loved me and you. Open our eyes. For us to understand what he has done for me and you. What people ignore today in the world is what me and you embrace with two hands. And this time we gather. Oh, we said, here we come. Father that has made it possible for us to eat him and to drink him. People of God, the blood that we have come to drink this hour is certainly not perishable at all. It is a blood that is not perishable. It does not lose its potency. It does not lose its value. It does not lose its efficacy. Meanwhile, it was a blood that was shed more than 2,000 years ago. Who can beat this? I believe no one. But in today's world, because of what Satan is doing, Satan has so blinded so many people that people now think, that everything in this world is about money. It's about fame. It's about acquiring. And that is why today the world, the world is by themselves, unknown to them, selling themselves into, into the hand of Satan. Being a lawful, a lawful captive in the hand of Satan. Selling their souls to Satan only because of what the material things of this world. Who have done this? Satan has done it. And he continually blindfold as many people as possible. That's why the Bible said in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 4. He said, in whom? If you don't know, know it today. The God of this world, even though God created the whole world. But the God of this world is Satan. The Bible said in that book, uh, uh, 2 Corinthians 4 4. He said, in whom the God of this world had blinded the minds of them which believe not. 
lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. How would they allow them? So that they would enjoy anything that they think they are enjoying. But at the end, they will still come and be an occupant in his kingdom. But glory be to God. Almighty. Even as small as we are. Even as unlearned as we are. The Bible said those things that were made hidden. From the prudent. From the wise. From the philosophers. You know, from, from the professors. The Bible said it was made on known unto babes. You know, when you want, there's a, a difference between a young man a young, and a baby. So it was made open to me and you. And that is why when we come, we know that we are about to do what? To enter into communion. To renew our relationship. To, you know, to, to, uh, 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 to again show our allegiance unto God that created me and you. That's true for us. That did for us what no man can do for me and you. Apostle Peter himself made us to know. He wants me and you to comprehend the fact that corruptible materials of this world, no matter how uh, uh, expensive they might be, no matter what, everything put together in this world has no spiritual value whatsoever and they cannot save or deliver any soul. No matter how valuable they are, Hence, the Bible said the book of 1 Peter, 1 Peter chapter 1, 18 to 19. 1 Peter 1, 18 to 19. He said, For as much as ye know, for as much as me and you know that we are not redeemed with the corruptible things, as silver and gold, from our vain conversation, received our tradition from our fathers. Those things that the world is running today, selling their souls. Me and you recognize that we are not delivered by this. This can never add any spiritual or eternal value in our life. This can never guarantee us entrance into the kingdom of God. We therefore do what? Take our eyes from them. And do our what? And focus our eyes unto God Almighty. Verse 19 says, But with what? With the precious blood of Christ, as of a lamb, without blemish and without spot. That is what what that is what delivered me and you. That is what can secure us entrance into the kingdom of God. That is if we remain it, if we remain it undefined, as God Almighty is cleansing me and you. If we remain like that, nothing I remain. I, I, I emphasize again, nothing can ever stop us entering into his kingdom. If when he has purged us, cleansed us, purified us, reconciled us. And we're able to live that life, then heaven is guaranteed. People of God, in returns, it is only the blood of Jesus Christ that has what that eternal and, like, uh, and lasting value that we're talking about. When heaven and earth pass away, the redeeming power of Christ's blood will always continue. The Bible says, Is the blood that speaketh better thing for me and you at any time? It's always there crying. My son, you cannot do this and go to hell. I am there. My daughter, I am here. Even though the blood of humanity can speak for vengeance, we have heard of people when their, when their loved ones die mysteriously. Maybe they were suspecting that somebody killed him or her. I don't know whether we have seen it. When they are buried, say, anybody that will kill you, do not leave the person. Your soul will trouble the person. See, the soul of human being cries for vengeance. Like the blood of Cain. Oh, oh, apple, sorry. But the blood of Jesus Christ, you know, it's, what it, it's, a, it's the blood that does good for me and you. The blood that speaketh for mercy for me and you. And that is the blood that me and you have come to do what? I have come to participate. I have come to be a partaker. The blood that will unite us back to our Father. The blood that cleans, that purge. Stronger than magnets. That drag us back unto God. People of God. Even as I continue. I want us to know this. Let us please. Accept this fact. It's on what is to me. I don't know for another person. Let us accept this truth. That the greatest sin. That the greatest deceit to me. That the greatest error that anyone can commit. Or do. Is when one say. I have no sin in me. Even as we are living in this flesh, 
I believe that is the greatest error of this it. To me, I call that what? I call it a plain self-deception. I call it a plain self. You are not being deceived by another person. You are deceiving yourself. That was the reason the Bible told me and you in the book of First John. First John, uh, 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 First John uh, uh, 1, I think from, from verse 8. Let's open it. And let's read it with understanding. The book of First John. Press Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Book of First John. First John from, from 8. And he said there. Now I start from 8. Where the Bible said. He said, if we say that we have no sin, we do what? First of all, we deceive ourselves. And the truth is not in us. Now, let us leave 9 and go to 10. Not only do we deceive ourselves. Now, the person has gone to the extent in verse 10. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar. And who is that him? God. We make God a liar. And I don't think there's anyone who can call God a liar and expect to be with him in his kingdom on the last day. I don't think it's possible. We make him a liar. And his word is not in us. So, in this instance, what do we need to do? That is the question. We now go back to verse 9. The Bible says, If we confess our sins, take our pride alone, take we, uh, whatever we think we are alone. He said, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And from through which means will He cleanse us? Through His precious blood. Through what? Through His precious blood. So, people of God, the blood of Jesus Christ holds such a special place in the heart of every true believer. Yes. That is why we see it as what? As the most important celebration in, in every true Christian calendar. People of the world, they have the calendar they follow. Even government had the calendar. But as a true child of God, the greatest celebration should be what we are doing. Even though the world did not recognize it. But as long as we are doing what our father asked us to do. He did not ask us to come and pay him back with what we get or with what we are eating. He said, as long as you do this, the day I understood this, that anytime we are doing this in truth and in spirit, in holiness and righteousness, there is nothing else that gives God pleasure more than this. Say, as often as you do this, you do show, show the Lord's death until he comes. So you cannot imagine those that deny to do all these things. And they are still waiting for his coming. For him to come and rapture them. So this occupies a very enviable uh, uh, portion in your life, in my life. Very innumerable. What the blood of Jesus Christ does for me and you. Uh, uh, it is it, much. But we are going to touch just a few because of time. We should not forget that the blood we are about to take is this, the only blood. The only means. That gave me and you. That made us to re re recover. To rediscover ourselves. When we miss our bearing. Because sin made us to miss our bearing. Sin makes us to be going about like people who doesn't know their direction again. But through the blood we are about to take. It is the blood that gave us the bold access. To go back to our father. In worship and in prayer. It's through the blood we are about to take. That now gives us access. Now made us to rediscover whom we are. Give us direction. To have the both access to go back to our Father in worship and in prayer. Because even the best in us cannot grant us this access to Him. No. The best in us, our self righteousness, can never grant us access to Him. Why? Because our sins have made us to remain in a distance from Him. But through His precious blood, He reconciled me and you back unto Himself. Hence, the Bible said in the book of uh, um, Hebrew chapter 10, verse 19. Hebrew 10, 19. What he said? He said, having therefore, brethren, the boldness to enter what into the holiest. By what? By the blood of Jesus Christ. It's the blood that make a way where there seems to be no way. The blood that clears every obstacle that you have seen, my sin has put on our way. So that we cannot be able to have access to our Father again. But the blood of Jesus Christ came and was and cleared it and gave us a bold access. To go back to our Father. Press Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Brethren, in the book of Colossians again, which we all know, 
Colossians chapter 1, uh, uh, verse 21 to 22, which me and you always read in this mountain, where he said, and you and me inclusive, that we are sometimes alienated and enemies in our mind by wicked works, yet hath he reconciled us back to himself. Yet. 22. He said, in the body of his flesh, through death, to present you holy, unblameable, and unbreable in his sight. He said, what Jesus Christ have done for me and you, through his blood, through his death, beloved, like the man of God said, he has given us salvation. Now, we have, we, we need, we, we have a work to do to remain it in what Christ has done for, in my life, in your life. So what he has done for me and you, the Bible says we were separated from him, we were alienated, but in the midst of it, he reconciled us back to you for us to be with him. So this can only remain until his coming if we do what verse 23 is telling us now. Failure to do this, you will not say that the blood of Jesus Christ is not, uh, 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 not powerful, it still remains powerful. But only our deed will make it as if to look it's no longer uh, 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 efficacious. If we remain, if we continue to do what verse 23 is saying, then we will remain as Christ has done me and you. In verse 23, he said, if we continue in faith, grounded and settled, not flying like butterfly, not drinking him now and seeking for, uh, 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 for one native daughter or seeking for one mermaid to come and do one thing or the, or the other for us because of what we are waiting for. If we continue and be grounded and settled and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel which you have heard and which was preached to every creature under heaven. If we remain on this, we will know that no matter the situation, no matter the circumstances, the blood of Jesus Christ is what is efficacious. The blood of Jesus Christ has a potency that that situation, that circumstances, they must bow. That this only blood that Satan can never dare to come around. If we don't, if we remain in faith, if we remain in faith, people of God, our sinful nature has already separated me and you from him. But through the blood of Jesus Christ, we're able to draw near back unto him. You can see that in the book of Ephesians, Ephesians chapter, I think, chapter 2, verse 13. Ephesians 2, 13. The Lord Jesus Christ draw me and you back unto him. Through the same blood we're about to uh, take again, through the same blood, we have the privilege to pour our hearts unto God in prayer. Through the blood, we have the privilege to pour our hearts. Where you are in that your, 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 your room, where you are within yourself, or in the mountain. It's through the blood. According to Psalm 62 verse 8, he said, Trust in him at all times. Yea, people, pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. Through the blood that gave us back access into him. The blood is it's innumerable. What the blood of Jesus Christ does for me and you. That is why we need to continually need to pray for that our sister, that our brother, that our friend that have not understand this truth. As I end, people of God, we also have the unique opportunity of casting all our cares onto him because of the blood. Seven days is ending today. We have been pouring our hearts. We have been bringing our supplications at his feet. All these things were accomplished through his blood. According to 1 Peter, 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 7, he said, casting all your cares onto him. Why? Because he does care for me and you. He does care for me and you. We take this last Bible verse as, uh, as we begin to pray. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 14. He said, how much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself, not by compassion, not because of what we did to him. He offered himself without spot to God. How? Without anyone forcing him, he obliged to what his father sent him, so that we don't end up in the uh, in the lap of Satan. So that we don't cry, had I known on that last day. He agreed. Even when he was tortured, they brutalized him. We have, according to um, Isaiah fifty-three and so on, showed us a little background what he passed through. But in the midst of it, the Bible said he, he uttered no, not a word. Somebody that created the whole world with the, with the, uh, the whole wide world with the word of his mouth. 
Bible said he said nothing. He was mute, going like a lamb about to be slaughtered. Why? He was only, he was only doing this in the ending of that uh, Hebrew uh, 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 nine fourteen to do what? P to purge my conscience, to purge our conscience from dead works, to cleanse us, to purify us, so that we can be able to appear before uh, uh, the Father. Because the Father, being a holy Father, He said, "My eye cannot behold iniquity," and that is why Jesus Christ has come to prove that of a truth. No one can love us more than he do, because he have done what no man, either living or dead, can do for you and me. And that is why he did what? He offered his precious, sinless, and spotless blood in order to do what? To purge you, to purge me, to cleanse us, to take away the weight of sins that were dragging us to hell, and to be able to what? To reconcile us back to his father. People of God, what a precious what an awesome God, what a marvelous God that we have. Is this God, not in the, is he not worthy to be praised? I think he is. Is he not worthy to be worshipped? Yes, he is. Therefore, let us go before him this hour. Let us begin to ask him. Say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord Almighty, you have poured your, your, your life, Daddy, out for me to live. You gave yourself willingly to be mocked, to be flogged, eventually died for my sake. Father, may what you did for me on the cross of Calvary not be in vain. May the, your blood that I'm about to eat, your broken body, Lord Jesus, if it had not been working in my life because of my lifestyle, because of my deeds, Father, today, by your mercy and grace, let your precious blood, let your broken body begin to work for me to your own glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's open our mouth and begin to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, Father, the King of kings, the Lord of all. Father, please, oh God, I beg of you, Baba. Father, please, oh God, I say thank you for everything. Baba, Father, you went on the cross of Calvary for me, Baba. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Father, my God, have mercy, Baba. If your precious love, Baba, that you shed for me on the cross of Calvary, Baba, if I had not been what is my life Thank you, Daddy. Jesus. For in yeah. Jesus Christ, mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Amen. People of God, we saw the way God just spoke uh, to us during the 11 o'clock prayer that we just ended. The way he went, the way uh, 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 he spoke to us in, in different ways. Even uh, as God has gathered us, many times when uh, the word of God is coming, Maybe our mind will be going to that brother, that sister, that friend that we know, that we will still think that he's, uh, he's still an unbeliever. But God spoke in different ways today. And that is why we need to pray. The Bible referred to some people in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4. He said, in whom the God of this world have blinded their minds. We are still going to pray. Say, Father, is there any way that I'm still blinded of the truth of your word? Is there any way that I'm still running this race blindly, Lord Jesus, that will make me to end up in hell? Is there any truth of your word that's supposed to usher me into a kingdom that I have not known? Father Lord, as I drink your blood today, Father Lord, let my spiritual eyes be open. Father Lord, let my ears be open. Let me begin to hear you. Mm. Let me begin to see what you want me to see. To your own glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, shall we pray? Amen. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, the King of the Lord of all. Lord, I beg of you. As I drink your blood, my spirit, my soul, 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 my
Jesus, in Jesus Christ, mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Lastly, brethren, we are going to pray. You see, we should not forget that when Jesus Christ finished fasting and prayer 40 days, the next thing that followed is what? Temptation. Satan is always there. He knows. After fasting and prayer that was done in truth and spirit, in holiness and righteousness, he knows that if he fails to pollute it, uncommon testimony will follow. We're going to pray. And the Bible again says in the book of uh, that first uh, Colossians we read, first Col uh, 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 Colossians uh, 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 1 21. He said, And you and me, who were sometimes alienated and we become enemies. Alienation means what? Separated. We're going to ask God. Say, Father, as I finish this fasting and prayer with you today, Father Lord, that temptation, that trial, that Satan will bring out my way in order to uh, alienate me, in order to separate me from you, in order to make me to become your enemy. Father, as I drink it today, as I eat you today, Father Lord, endow me with that power, with that strength to overcome that temptation, that trial in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray. that <laughs> Oh Jesus Christ, mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Please pardon me as this one drop in my spirit now. I know I said the last one was our last prayer, but we want to pray. Because we are ending the seven day fasting and prayer today. Say, Father, as I drink your precious blood today and eat you, Father Lord, let your blood seal everything that you have done in my life. Every resurrection mm -hmm. that has taken place in my life, every blessing that has taken place in my life. Father Lord, King of all glory, I seal it with your blood that no power of the enemy can ever take it out of my life again in the mighty name of Jesus. Shall we pray? Amen. As I I eat your broken body and drink your blood, everything that you have done in my life, let your precious blood fill it over. Let it be sealed by the power of your precious blood. Let your blood be sealed. I seal your blood. Every good lifestyle that you have done in the name of the glory with the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, let the power of your blood Jesus Christ, mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Beloved, are you out there? I don't know if you are in the Zoom here or you are with us in Google Hangouts, uh, in Facebook or YouTube. Uh, glory be to God. Uh, there is no better place to be than in the place of Almighty God. That's a good thing. But if you know you have not given your life to Jesus Christ, uh, for this not to be in vain, uh, for the potency and the efficacy uh, power that is the blood of Jesus Christ, not to be as if it is uh, 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 it is not powerful in your life, I think you better do the, the, do the needful first. And what is that? First of all, give your life back unto the one that created you. Use this opportunity to run to him Fall at his feet, ask him for mercy, ask him to your life to be your Lord and personal savior, 
have mercy on you. Confess every known and unknown sin so that the power that is in his blood will begin to work in your life. Begin to do what alone can do in the name of Jesus Christ. And as you do so, Amen. please do not stop there. Go a step further for water baptism. I mean baptism by immersion. Very, very needful. Very, very needful. God demanded that. But if you know uh, that God can use his servants in this mountain to do this, uh, please do not shy, do not hesitate to call us. That's why we're here. And uh, if you do so, God Almighty's infinite mercy will always guide us on how to do this and make it achievable in your life to the glory of God in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Uh, Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you, worship you. Lord, I thank you for this once, my Lord, my Father, Lord Jesus. Father, Lord, this precious soul that we this opportunity, my Lord, my Father, that the Lord to run back to you, Lord Jesus. My Lord and my Father, King of all glory, Father, Lord, with that hand that is spread, my Lord, my Father, on the cross of Calvary, Father, Lord, to embrace every mankind that come to you. Father, Lord, embrace them even as they come to you, Lord Jesus. Father, Lord, that no power can ever separate them from you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, Amen. we, oh, Lord Jesus, Father, Lord, that you have made this truth known unto Lord Jesus. Father, we pray that the truth that we know today will not turn to be in our life, in our life tomorrow in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, my Father, the grace, my Lord, my Father, as we have put our hand on the plow, Father, Lord, the grace, the power, the strength for us to continue to run and never to weary. Father, Lord, until we see you on that last day in glory. Father, Lord, we receive it today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, our Father. Blessed be your holy mighty name. For in Jesus Christ's holy name, we all are praying with thanksgiving. Amen. Bless Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So please, could the choir leader please give us a worship song? as we tidy up our table for the communion. God bless you, man. Amen. Amen. Jesus, we need us. We are you lead us, we will follow. We are you lead us, we will go. Until we reach the promised land, we cannot do without you. We need your perfect direction. Where you lead us, we will go. Until we read the promised land, Jesus must lead us. We are your little ones. Where you lead us, we will go. Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Beloved, if our emblem is ready, let's lift it unto God as we all pray. Our most holy Father, everlasting and ever living God. Lord, we thank you, we worship you, we adore you, and we will continually worship you until the last breath in our life. Because you are worthy. Because you are dependable. Because you are trustworthy. You never fail us. Even when we are unfaithful, 
you remained faithful. What an awesome God you are. Lord, we the sheep of your pasture, and you being that good and trusted shepherd. Lord, we have all gathered before you. Lord Almighty, it's not because we are qualified. The glory to your holy and awesome name that qualified the unqualified. Lord, here we are to carry out the ordinance, the greatest ordinance so far in our life. And that is why, O oh Lord Jesus, it is too dear to our hearts. Especially in this mountain, we don't know of elsewhere. That's why each time we come, we pray that by your mercy and grace, that we will not do it in error. You spoke to us during the afternoon prayer and reminded us that even as loving as your precious blood is, as caring as it is, yet people that do it in sin, iniquity, can begin to experience causes, untimely death, etc. in their life as recorded in the book of 1 Corinthians. Lord, we don't want to eat and end up being sick. We don't want to eat and end up dying. We don't want to eat and end up in career rot. Lord Jesus. That's why, oh Lord Jesus, we first of all bring the emblems before you. Say, Daddy, since you are the creator of the heaven and earth, and nothing can be hidden before you, we ask you, oh Lord Jesus, to please, in your infinite mercy and grace, look at the emblems in the hands of your children, Lord Almighty. Is there anything in these emblems that will contaminate what we are doing? Is there anything in these emblems that will pollute or truncate our desire to be with you on that last day? Is there anything in this emblem, oh Lord Jesus, Father, that will direct us to another kingdom that is not of you? Father, in your infinite mercy, let those things be taken away from these emblems in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Our most holy Father, King of all glory, mm. ah, Father, we pray thee, oh Lord Jesus, Daddy, through that you have spoken words, Lord Jesus Christ, that made the whole earth to come to being. Father, therefore, speak. Speak your word on these emblems. Let the bread that we, your children, are needed before you. As you speak, Father, let it turn to become that your broken and battered body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, in like in the same like manner, Lord Jesus, look at the cause we have listed before you. Father, we don't know the components with which it was made, but we bought it as what as wine. But is there anything that you see here, O oh Lord Jesus? As sort of you, Father, Lord, let it be taken away. And as you speak, let it turn to become your sinless and precious blood in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Lord Almighty. The confidence that we, your little children, have in you. Just like as a little child, we, we always ask our parents. When our parents tell us, uh, I will do this for you, we hope that they will do it for us. If our parents can be true to their words to an extent, what about you, Lord Jesus? That confidence that we have in you, as your word have said, that anything that we ask according to your will, you hear it us. Therefore, we have no altar of that in us. That as we have asked, you have answered us. And what we have the privilege to carry in our hands right now, they are no longer bread nor drinks. Rather, we are children as loving, oh Lord Jesus, and as special that you have made us to be in your sight. We have the grace to carry your broken body and your precious blood in our hands. Lord, we say to you, be all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. King of all glory of all Lord, Daddy, you are the one that saw us through. That the Lord for us to observe these seven days of fasting and prayer, Lord Jesus. And at the end, your mercy brought us 
Father, Lord, for us to come into communion with you, to seal up what you have done in our life. Lord, as we are about to eat and drink today, Lord Jesus, Daddy, we remember where we are coming from. Our lineage, Lord Jesus, where we come from. We speak, Lord Jesus, that as we eat today, Father, since there is nothing that can withstand or hinder the power that says your blood, let your, therefore your blood travel right to our root, travel right to our lineage. Anything in our lineage, oh Lord Jesus, Father, that is speaking no to your yes in our life, Father, today, not tomorrow, let them be silenced forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Lord Almighty, King of all glory, is there anything, Lord Jesus, that Satan have attached in our foundation that is dragging us backwards? Father, Lord, when we are supposed to move forward in you, my Lord and my Father, today, every hand that is dragging your children backwards, Father, Lord, those hands, as we eat and drink it today, those hands shall be cut off from our life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Most holy God, Lord Jesus, Father, today, my Lord, my Father, as we eat you and drink you, my Lord, my Father, Lord Jesus, remember what your word says. We have no other God except you. Our eyes are on you. Father, I know, as we usually say, that many people go to market for different reasons. Father, your children, since seven days, Father Lord, we have been bringing our supplications. Father Lord, individually before you, knowing that you that knows opening the secret, you hear it us. And as your word have said in the book of Matthew chapter 17, verse 21, he said, How be it, this kind goeth not, but what? But by prayer and fasting. Lord Jesus, those problems, those situations, those circumstances of life, Father Lord, that refuse to move out in our life. Father Lord, those situations that are given us name that you did not give us. Those situations that people have known us with. Ah, Lord Jesus, because it's always easy for people to know one through his negative uh, 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 things that happen in our life. But today, as we are fasted in truth and in spirit, in holiness and righteousness, those situations, my Lord, my Father, today, my Lord, my Father, Every ugly situation in life of your children, my Lord, my Father, Father Lord, they will have no option. As we eat and drink it today, Father Lord, they will give way so that your light will shine in our life and darkness will never comprehend in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. My Lord, my Father, in every area that any of us have been neglected, even in our household, even in our family, Father Lord, as we eat and drink it today, Lord Jesus, because, my Lord, my Father, of your glory in our life, Father Lord, we shall become a sought after in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Abba Father, I am that I am, Lord Jesus, Father, above all, Lord Jesus, as we eat you and drink it today, Lord Jesus, Father, Lord, the grace for us to continually run this race, even when the, the strength is going down, Father, Lord, let your blood, Father, Lord, infuse more power, more strength in us, that as we run, we will not faint, Father, Lord, we will not weary, nothing will ever make us detach from you. Until that day, we'll be able to see you in glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Lord, Father, we thank you. We worship you. We give you all glory. We give you all honor. In Jesus Christ's holy name, we all are pray with thanksgiving. Amen. So, quickly, brethren, I open our Bible to the book of Matthew, uh, chapter 26, and I quickly take a reading from verse 26. And I read. Say, and as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it and broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take it. This is my body. People of God, let us uh, meditatively, but with gratitude to Almighty God, eat his broken body in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. 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 Verse 27. And he took the cup 
and gave thanks and gave it to them saying drink ye all of it for this is my blood of the new testament which is shed for many for the remission of sins 29 but i say unto you i will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the vine until that day when i drink it new with you in my father's kingdom people of god let us drink the precious sinless blood of our lord and savior jesus christ that blood that disappointed every plus and plus of the enemy in our life with that promise that on that last day god almighty his door of heaven shall be open for me and you to enter into him into his kingdom to be able to celebrate how overcome in the name of jesus christ Amen. Amen. There is power, power, wonder-walking power in the blood of the Lamb of God. There is power, power. song that there is power absolute power in the blood that we have just drank that blood that no matter what have been going on in our life in our spiritual life physical life marital life phys uh, any part of us if we know that today they have no option than to bow to the power of this blood let's open our mouth this hour and begin to appreciate god for this opportunity in the name of jesus christ shall we pray Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, the King of Kings, the Lord of all, the Lord of all, Jesus Christ, mighty name, we have given thanks. Amen. Our most holy Father, merciful God, gracious God, faithful God. Lord, we thank you, we worship you, we adore you. Father, I wonder what could have been our fate if we don't have a father like you. 
Lord Jesus. Daddy, you who did not, my Lord, my Father, even in our inadequacy, Lord Jesus, you still care for us, my Lord, my Father. Daddy, we bless you, magnify you. Abba, Father, your grace and mercy that have brought us, my Lord, my Father, for us to renew our allegiance in you, for us to eat you and to drink you, for us to enter into new communion with you. Father, Lord, we bless you. Lord, we pray, King of all glory, Daddy, anything whatsoever, Lord Jesus, because we know that Satan is not happy. Father, Lord, but because of the power, absolute power in your blood, in any form, in any way that Satan may come, Lord Jesus, to see if there is any way he can make us to be alienated or separated from you again. Father, Lord, let the power in your blood, oh Lord Jesus, strengthen us, my Lord, my Father, Lord Jesus, Father, Lord, to put Satan where he belongs so that he will continually to remain a failure in our life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, I am that I am, Lord Jesus, King of all glory, as we have eaten you today and drank you, Lord Jesus. Father, Lord, on that last day, Lord Jesus, my Lord and my Father, Daddy, Lord, that you will come to rapture your children, Lord Jesus. The grace for you to see the trace of your blood in our life unpolluted. Ah, Lord Jesus. Father, Lord, we receive that grace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, Lord Jesus, my Lord and my God, we pray thee, O oh Lord Jesus, as your word has said, that your blood speak better than Lord Jesus. Ah, Father, may your blood never cease to speak for us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Father, Lord, because your blood is now in us, that now brings to an end every other blood that have been crying over our life, over our family for vengeance. Today, those blood have been silenced forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Almighty, I am, I am Lord Jesus, King of all glory. Father, Lord, I pray. Is there any error? Ah, either by omission or commission, Lord Jesus, Father, King of all glory, Father, Lord, that will make you not accept my fan of this communion service. Father, Lord, we are on our knees crying for mercy. Father, Lord, I keep into your word that says, Ah, that whosoever the Son of Man set free is free indeed. Father, Lord, King of all glory, set us free from every accusation of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Father, King of all glory, Lord Jesus, Father, Lord. To you and you alone, all glory will be. Father, Lord, because you are glory, you will never share with anyone in our life in this mountain in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we thank you. We worship you. We give you glory. We give you honor. For in Jesus Christ's holy name, we all are pray with thanksgiving. Amen. 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 Master Jesus Christ. Lord, let's show God appreciation by putting our hands together to Almighty God for Him. What I have done, and then. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.